So before start the video, I want to tell you one thing. If he wants to play Apex Legends Mobile on Noxpair, then you have to be take your own risk. I'm not in influence you to play Apex Legends Mobile on Noxpair because um, it's not safe. So if he wants to play safe, then you have to choose other emulator for playing Apex Legends Mobile. So let's start the video. Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to sh share with you my best setting, uh, which can be help you to play Apex Legends Mobile on Nox player without any kind of lag. I think this video is going to be very helpful for you. If this video has helped, if you like this video, then please do subscribe to our channel and stay with us. So that's all about the intro. Let's jump into the main things and I'm going to show you the best setting for the Nox player. So first of all, what should you do? First of all, you have to uh, if you have a virtualization enabled in your pc you have to um check out that virtualization if you if it's uh, enabled or not in task manager here you can see in, uh, performance you will find this one the virtualization enabled or not you have to check out this one if your virtualization enabled then you have to close it and you have to open nox player and you have to go inside the settings and after that you have to choose this one actually um, this setting for a little bit high-end pc like it's medium edge pc if you have a medium and type pc like if you have 16 gig gigabytes of uh, memory with um, i5 processor in your pc then this setting is for you i think so so here you can see um cpu it's four core and the memory it's uh, eight gigabytes of memory and uh, if you have external graphic card then it's better okay and one more thing i'm gonna tell you um you need at least six generation uh processor in your pc right now if you have like six generation pr processor in your pc then you will get the best experience okay so yeah you have to be note that every single word i'm telling you right now so here you can see you have to choose four core and the eight gigabytes of um <laughs> eight gig gigabytes of memory right now and after that you have to choose uh compatibility mode with opengl plus and you have to choose the uh, 1920 180 if you want you can choose the 1600 into 900 um, as you wish no problem 1600 into 900 with uh, or uh, the 1920 180 both are best and after that in gaming you have to choose like if you have um, like if you if your pc compatible with the 120 fps then you can unlock the 120 fps if you want and um, everything's like me and in device you have to choose like s20 ultra like s20 ultra is best right now because if, if you want to get 120 fps then you have to be use um, s20 ultra but but in nox player it's impossible to get 120 fps because not nox player uh, is not capable for 120 fps so you can't get 120 fps you, you can get uh, 90 fps it's up to 90 fps okay in display you, you don't need to do anything theme if you want <laughs> i'm using this one right now and if you want you can change anything and and no, no need to do anything and after that i'm going to show you the in-game settings so you, you have to be um, you have to be use those in-game settings right now in-game graphics setting actually so uh here you can see we are in lobby right now and i'm going to show you the in-game settings right now here you can see the in-game settings in my side in graphic i'm using the normal uh, recommended settings over here it's a high high is 60 fps so if you want uh you can choose that um, the graphic quality normal over here but normal is a little bit laggy smooth is best one because, uh, i'm using smooth and um, that's why i'm using smooth so i'm using normally smooth and you can choose uh, if you want you can choose the vvd over here and no need to do anything and fov you have to uh, be choose uh, 110 110 over here so it's it this, that's it and you have to press on confirm and save it and i'm going to show you some gameplay right now i think you guys are watching gameplay right now and this gameplay is really really very smooth and uh, it's working perfectly i think this re uh, this video is going to be help you to play apex Legends mobile without any kind of lag on nox player and uh, this is the best setting for nox player if you have little bit high-end pc so that's all about this video i think this video is help if this video is help if you like this video and if this video is help you to play apex Legends mobile without any kind of lag on your next nox player then please do subscribe to our channel and stay with us that's all about stay home stay safe and bye bye and take care